Hey folks, everything new under the sun. Now I'm a Canadian, so I don't know my uh, American geography uh, too well. Uh, but we've got Ohio up here where you can't see, kind of right in the center, uh, Columbus, Ohio there. And then to the lower right, of course, you've got uh, West Virginia. And uh, the, uh, the fallout, to whatever this white dust is, is uh, hitting east, eastern West Virginia, as I understand it. Uh, and uh, um, uh, Palestine is right up here uh, northwest of uh, Pittsburgh. So if I zoom in, uh, again, and correct me if I'm wrong, here's East Palestine here, um, northwest uh, of uh, um, uh, Pittsburgh there. And if you look at these weather patterns, if this was fallout, um, let's, let's say it's around uh, Youngstown right there. Uh, if this was fallout from the Palestine uh, train derailment, maybe some consolidation of the chemicals uh, and uh, solidifying, um, I would think they would be somewhere over, uh, you know, up here in over in Pennsylvania, uh, if anything, because for uh, the first while, the weather pattern, the plume was actually uh, going up where you see that, that kind of pointer. Uh, that, that was the way the, uh, the, the actual plume was going. I think I posted on the community channel. So if this, uh, if this train derailment really happened, you know, around northwest of uh, Pittsburgh, um, then that, again, that would be uh, blowing into um, uh, Pennsylvania there and not into east west Virginia. Um, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, like uh, this is the current weather patterns on Ventusky and uh, they're going um, uh, southeast. So again, it doesn't make sense to me that that is from that. There must be something else going on. Now, some people are saying uh, it's a dust storm, uh, which uh, it does, that didn't look like dust to me, uh, like, like I know dust. Maybe the, maybe the answer is simply here, folks, but uh, this is a strange one. So correct me if I'm wrong. It doesn't look like, based on the weather patterns, like uh, this would be coming from the train derailment. But I saw interesting comments on uh, BP Earthwatch's video um, that maybe that is what it is. And it could be. Maybe there's something up in the high atmosphere. Um, that floated around and didn't get pushed to the north uh, east um, like the like the patterns uh, showed uh, and maybe that's now falling um, it, there is proximity there again to um, the train derailment so uh, I just wanted to put that out there uh, you let me know what you think and if you've seen anything else uh, put it in the comments I'd be interested to know if anybody has any idea what this is and and be careful folks uh, you know we have no idea if this is from the train, it could be toxic. If it is from some sort of terrorist activity, that still could be toxic. This is that would be a great way to deliver a dirty bomb, if you will, or, or dirty, uh, you know, radioactive substances. So it's what you need to be thinking about in, in this day and age, unfortunately. And uh, it could be again a great run-up and a great test, a great exercise uh, for uh, a potential nuclear disaster. Are you ready to close up all your windows and stop any air from coming into your house? That's effectively what they're advising uh, folks in this area to not go outside, to um, close windows, close doors, uh, prevent any air intake um, so that they're not ingesting whatever this may be. And that's the case for a volcano eruption as well. You would do the same. You would shut all your doors and windows because all that dust gets into your lungs and that's not good for you. So that the same situation could happen in so many different ways. Uh, and this is one of these things, again, uh, I'll ask the question, were you prepared for this? Are you prepared if this were to be on your doorstep and in your neighborhood? Um, I know uh, where I am, white stuff is falling, but that's snow. But if that were anything uh, bad, um, would I be prepared for that? Would I be prepared to hunker down and, and close off windows and doors in my house uh, for a period of time until authorities told us otherwise? So um, it, incredible events we're seeing in these last days. Um, unprecedented. Um, it's kind of, it's almost overwhelming the number of things that are happening. You need to be prepared, folks. Um, things are going to get crazy, and this is the tip of the iceberg. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, and uh, if you've heard uh, newer information, do let me know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.